Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, L'Hopital's rule. So we're going to state it first. So um, assume that uh, we've got two functions. They're differentiable in an open interval containing A. And uh, assume also that uh, the two functions are equal to zero at that point A. So then uh, what L'Hopital's rule says is that the limit as x approaches A of f of x over g of x is equal to uh, the derivative f prime over g prime and so um, basically remember that here this is an indeterminate form and so basically what this is saying is that if you get a indeterminate form of the type 0 over 0 that uh, you can just get the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and find that limit and um, many times this will then give us a uh, conclusion. Now um, also I want to point out that this also holds for um, when the limit on top and the bottom is infinity over infinity. So let's put that down right here. Okay, so if you get um, infinity over infinity on top and on bottom you can use this same uh, rule. And so there you go. It's infinity. Okay. Okay, getting out of hand here. Okay, anyways, sorry. All right, so uh let's prove it for for the first case just uh 0 over 0. Um and it's not too difficult to see. Uh, let's start off with the definition. Now, uh, let's do a little, uh, let me write down here something to remember so that we, uh, this makes a little bit more sense. Uh, the derivative at uh, a, uh, I'm going to use this definition. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x uh, minus f at a over x minus a. So remember this is the alternative definition instead of x plus h. Okay, so um, let's start off with uh, this guy right here. Uh, let me change the color, that's a little dark for my eyes. Okay, so uh, we've got the limit as x approaches a of f of x over uh, g of x and so I'm going to say um, that since um, f of a and g of a are equal to 0 well then this is the same as um, the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over g of x minus g of a. So all I did was um, these guys are just zero by the assumptions right here. So just subtracted them and then just divide the top and the bottom by uh, x minus a and then we uh, basically get the uh, result. So check this out. Limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a. Uh, let me scroll down here. It's not very easy to draw on the tablet. Okay, g of x minus g of a. And then, so what I'm doing is I'm going to divide the uh, numerator by x minus a and the denominator by x minus a. And so then what I've got is basically this right here, that's uh, f prime. And this right here is uh, g prime. And that's it. Okay, so let me show you an example of how this works. And then you guys can do the, um, um, the examples in on the handout, the video handout. So let's say for example you've got um, and then don't forget also that it, this works for infinity over infinity. So let's do, remember this one that gave us a lot of trouble. Um, 
the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just like we uh, usually do, um, you plug it in. So um, if I plug it in, I'm going to get uh, 0 over 0, right? You plug in 0 here and 0 here, you get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. And um, because it's 0 over 0, if it's 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, you can use L'Hopital's rule. So what L'Hopital's rule says is this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of get the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So um, and very important, do not use the quotient rule. We're just getting the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So I get the derivative of the top, which is uh, cosine, and then the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1, and then you just uh, try again. So you again plug in the same value, 0, but this time notice cosine of 0 is just equal to 1, and that's it. You're done. Okay. So that's L'Hopital's rule. So very handy for um, uh, trig functions, exponential functions. And there are other functions that aren't, you can't do them without um, using uh, L'Hopital's rule. And you know, you can see those um, on the uh, exam, the video handout, and we'll go over them in class. Um, another topic that we want to talk about that's related is the uh, dominance of uh, functions. So, uh, for example, of, uh, let's look at um, x cubed and e to the x. Um, so, uh, here, the purple right here is uh, x to the third, and the uh, blue is e to the x. So, um, notice how. Um, here, there's, so there, there's an intersection point here, and x to the third is uh, larger than e to the x, but there comes a point when e to the x dominates the situation and is always going to be uh, bigger. So that's what we mean by dominance. Dominance is um, who gets, as you go to, as x goes to infinity, uh, which one, what function is uh, dominating the other. Which one is uh, gets larger faster? So we say that uh, f of x uh, dominates g of x if either one of the two following uh, holds if either the uh, limit as x goes to infinity of f of x over g of x is equal to infinity, so that means that the top is getting fast bigger than the bottom is, or the limit as x approaches infinity of g of x over f of x is equal to zero. And so um, it's easily seen why, um, using L'Hopital's rule, you can easily see why uh, e to the x dominates, dominates x raised to any power, for any n. And so we're not going to go through the entire proof, but let me just show you, for example, if I do the limit as x approaches infinity, of uh, e to the x over x to any power. Let's just pick, just randomly, let's just say to the fourth. But this works exactly the same way um, with 5, 6, 7, 100, 1,000. Is that notice that you plug it in, and so you would get um, infinity over infinity, right? So infinity on top, infinity on bottom, which tells you, okay, you can use the uh, L'Hopital's rule. So you get the derivative just like we did in the example above. And then you get on the top, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. The derivative of x to the fourth is 4x to the third. 
Okay, so then you get infinity over infinity again. And so notice that the top is always going to be e to the x. The bottom is going to, at the next step, you're going to get 12x squared. Then the next time you do it, the top is going to be e to the x again. The bottom is going to be uh, 24x. And then next time, top is going to still be e to the x, and the bottom is going to be 24. And so then this guy is going definitely to infinity. So e to the x is going to dominate uh, this one always. And you can do this for any function. All right, so that's it. So work out the uh, video examples.